Oh hi guys, welcome back. Uh, so the export uh, dump is complete, and basically these are the different objects. My these are the different tables that were uh, that were exported to my uh, that were that were basically exported to my dump file. So if you go into that directory that I had earlier, I showed you earlier. Um, so. Basically, you can see that I have my OU, my dump file, and my log file that have been created. So, basically, what I'll do now is I'll do the same thing on my on my uh, target database. So, basically, um, what I'll be doing is importing that data uh, from the um, from the target from the source database. So, I'm gonna go to my OS level again. Uh, I'm gonna issue IMPDB streams admin streams admin at the target as you can see I'm just um, this is the file that I created uh, as a reference point um, downloads uh, schemas is equal to OE uh, directory the directory that I have is um, exp stream at the dump file is equal to dump file is equal to oe.dmp um, log file log file is equal to oe actually you know what not oe.dmp oe1 oe1.log parallel is equal to 4 and import ESP stream idea I do a uh, dump file you want the DMP okay so I'm performing an import now okay this should uh, what I'll do is I will this is probably going to take a while um, so you know what Maybe I'm speaking too early. Let's see. So basically, what what you're doing is you're just capturing um you capture information again in terms of the streams process. Um, you're just capturing information from the source and you apply it to the target database. So uh, if yeah, this is not. It's not going fast enough. I'll pause it here and I'll pick it up when uh, the import is complete. Um, thank you so much for watching. Okay, welcome back. Uh, so basically, the um, the import is complete. Basically, just to go over what happened, uh, basically you're gonna see when you when you perform an import, uh, especially with the way that I'm doing it now. Well, basically I'm not I'm not I haven't applied any data uh, that's different from my uh, from my source to my target database. So I'm just this is just for demonstration um, purpose purposes. Um, so basically you're gonna see a lot of you know again in my situation I'm seeing a lot of errors basically for you know this object or already exists or um, and basically just you know. A lot of errors are basically just that you know they already they already have them in my schema. So pretty much, if you if you perform the uh, the import in an environment where basically you have um you you don't have any you don't have you don't have you know you, you just you don't it you know in a live environment where there is no the, the objects are not are not are not there are not present, then basically you're not gonna have this error. So uh, again, just do not mind uh, what you're seeing here. Uh, it's just I'm I'm you see seeing all these errors because I already have um, these objects in my um, in my database. So what I'll do now is <coughs> I'm going to log into my um, log into my target database. So let me do this. Um, SQL plus streams admin streams admin at panels. Okay, well then, um, let me do this, select 
file from VPA underscore apply underscore substantiated or instantiated I mean um substantiated underscore schemas okay so basically this is to confirm that the uh, import was successful um, this is what I, again this took this reason why you created a database a database link early on basically is, again it's the connection path so uh, this is the um, the uh, instantiation number um, let me see I should have it okay now I'm, 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 I guess not what I'm looking for so basically what I'm trying to say is basically this is just going to be um, the essentially the SEN the reference point for this uh, for this process um, so pretty much again this is this is a this is a query that you use to you know find out to get details on on whether everything uh, went right um, so what I'll do now is you can also uh, <laughs> this query you can also run it to basically um, to also figure out um, the DBMS underscore output that put line SEN you know if you want to if you wanted to look at that what the SEN number was for the apply um, process um, and basically um, again so you have two choices you can you, you can do this or you can use the the, the, um, the data dictionary view so um, so basically this is one thing that's left is I have to now just uh, enable my my apply and my capture um, so again again this is not this is just this is just how to set up your, your, your streams software um, actually basically the actual use of the stream software you know you're gonna have to uh, you know rely on uh, the um, rely on the apply on the capture process to be able to you know get your database to you know to a very to a consistent state uh, in terms of your, the um, data that's being that, that you're looking to uh, replicate. So what I'll do now is I'm going to um, I'm going to describe or underscore apply. Okay, I'm going to do this apply underscore name. I'm going to, I'm going to get the status of my of my apply process. apply name status from oh man yeah just always keep this in mind so if you want to target database you use the data dictionary or underscore apply and if you want to source database you use the data dictionary uh, or underscore capture so it's disabled right so what I'll do is exec dbms underscore apply underscore adm dot start underscore apply uh, apply name target underscore stream one close it that should be there you go. That's done. So if I if I run that query again, that's select. Now it's enabled. Let me do this. SQL plus streams admin stream admin at Kronos. Um. So now I'm gonna enable the capture process as well. Um. Again, so this script is out as I've already uh, mentioned is going to be available in my um, in my in my di in the discussion section for, the, for my YouTube channel. Uh, check that out. To, you know, um, you know, go through the different steps and configure your um, Oracle stream for your Oracle databases. 
So I'm logged in to my uh, source uh, database. I'm gonna issue it uh, again just to confirm. Um, again, this, this should also be disabled. Um, select um, me describe underscore capture. Describe or underscore. Select capture name. Status um, or underscore capture. Disable. Exec. E. MS underscore capture. Underscore EM dot start underscore capture. underscore stream one and this there you go and if I run that query again so now my capture as well as my um, apply are both enabled in um, upcoming um, tutorial videos I'm going to basically just um, you know show you how to basically just use a different uh, the different procedures um to basically just um you know get further get get further into you know how to you know perform different uh capture cap you know data 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 uh just capture capture different sets of data if it's a you know if it's a database object if you know if it's a table if it's uh, whatever object it may be I'm gonna go over you know how you can use the, the database packages and procedures that are that are um that are available to um perform uh, those uh those operations uh, thank you so much for watching and again this is just uh, this is a this is a conclusion for how to set up your local streams um, and I hope to again I hope to see you guys next time you know for the um, other videos on how to actually use um, how to make use of you know the full capabilities of the local stream software thanks a lot for watching